Hello everybody, welcome to Madison Creek, and we're shelling corn, it's the uh, third day of mid-fall, corn's doing pretty good, we're, it's only a 14 acre field, holy crap, I thought it was a lot bigger than that, I just bought it about, I think, mid of the year, so, yeah, we got the 9560 with the 6 row corn head, I did have a 6 row 606C and I cannot find it to save my life. So I popped out the little 644. Yeah, 644. So let's get going here. Uh, I guess we'll start down here. I'm gonna try to square this thing up. So get right here and follow this row. Oh shoot, I gotta hit my cruise. I'm gonna try to knock out that little point so I can start going up and down the field here. I've got a round and a half, and I probably should do another pass on the end probably should do the same down here but I got a big old area to turn around on so I mean it probably help I probably should yes but we'll see I like this setup actually. Pretty good setup. I had the eight euro, but I was like, eh, I want something smaller to make it take a little longer to shell some corn. Too bad I don't have the dryer. And I dry this corn to make her a little more realistic. Yeah, we'll hop over here and get the take off this end I have not played this save game in a long time partially because I couldn't get on it every time I loaded it in it would say air it would be a little air until about too many map can't load because there's too many fruits on the ground I don't know I, I think it's a straw harvest add on but I never remember having it enabled except for one time so I don't know so we'll probably get down to the end here and we'll cut a loop back up around so really we'll just make a loop around the field and we'll start shelling our way down to the creek I think it's a creek down here yeah because my wheat field's on the other side but speaking of, I've got to spray that before put some post down probably give her a shot of nitrogen maybe also really wish farm sim would implement real following rows that follow where the freaking planter goes that'd make life so much nicer so much easier to doesn't feel realistic when you're driving across the rows but technically you're following the contour of the field but something we've never been able to figure out. I had an idea like the real terrain angle or multi terrain angle, whatever the heck it's called. Just doing that. And with the crops, see if we could do that. And I don't think somebody said it's you can't. So that was an idea I had way back. By no means am I modern about what I did here with the crop texture and uh, destruction of the corn stalks is about all I get. I've added Milo to Rolling Hills on my old computer before I got my gaming computer. That's about the extent of my quote unquote modding. Just gonna try to add lights that work to the 1051 J&M grain cart. 
want to add a tarp to it, but I don't know how to do that because it really needs a tarp and some. I think it's got hoops. I think. Been a long time since I recorded too. I don't remember the last time I did. I mean, I recorded little snippets on like Good Hope, me with the 9RX and the uh, V Ripper. But that's about it. And I had some when I could have swore I had the volume working on this map when I was planting my field of corn on the actual farm, not this bot farm here but I wasn't recording. I mean, I, I was recording, I meant I wasn't, didn't have my mic turned on, so I just walked around aimlessly for ever and did my stuff without no sound of my voice. It's kind of nice because nobody wants to hear my voice. Kind of like what Lin Joe, Joe Lindbergh did before he disappeared out of nowhere. I don't know where he went, don't really care. He was a jerk. Made good mods, but he was a jerk. Yes, yeah, so I know my combine needs a bath. Kind of known this for a while, but corn harvest ain't over, so. Ain't getting done until corn harvest is over. Which will hopefully be in the next few days. I ain't trying to shell corn in the snow if that's possible on this map. I mean, it'd be kind of cool to do, but I don't particularly want to do it. Like we'll probably be doing this year, because hardly been any corn shelled, and it's October 30th. Especially if we get snow, which is highly unlikely for a while, because we're Ohio, and Ohio doesn't like to give us snow until like January. Yeah, I know I'm half full. Probably get this truck full in the next, I don't know, couple dumps. Should probably be right around half or so. I put two dumps on it already. I mean, they weren't full. They're like three quarter, half, be half between half and three quarter, I think. So. I got course player running over on the farm on the cornfield. She's chiseling on the old international tractor with the DMI five shank, I think. I'll switch over to that here in a little bit when I and show you what we got going on. Yep, windows. Too bad you can't get cab corn in this game. I'd have cab corn quite a bit. <laughs> Funny story, I was with a buddy of mine, what, I think it was two weeks ago. It was almost, it was like two weeks ago tomorrow, actually. And he was shelling corn. And they got an old 9500. Wasn't thinking of it. Knew he was going to be getting close to being full. He was watching the windows. And he gets to the end, pulls up to the wagon, has to stop real quick to back up. Well, he gets corn falling over the roof. I mean, the corn was right on the edge of the bin. Well, apparently his grandpa said he was dumping corn off the back of the bin for the last few, like, last 20, 30 feet. We climbed up in the back of the combine. He was like, yep, there's some corn up there. Yeah, I didn't think I had auto steer on this combine. I 
would turn my music on, but you know, YouTube don't really like that. So, just gotta listen to me talk, pretty much. So we'll pull up to the truck and we'll dump. Hmm. Thought I swung my auger out. Oh, I know why. I'm on my combine. Oh, I wasn't pushing down to go into reverse. I use my shifter, and I, my, um, for my auger is set on the reverse, so I was going into sixth instead of reverse. Oh, shoot. I could have swore this field is going to be a lot bigger than 15 acres. I just about fill this truck actually. Very freaking close. Ninety percent. I'll make a round and then dump. That should just about fill her. Yeah. Um, might need a couple rounds actually. I'm not totally sure how much a truck holds. That trailer, I should say, not truck. I mean, it's my terminology, but some po some people will be like, well, the truck don't hold no corn. Well, you know what I mean. I actually go see how much this truck holds. So we're at 27. And the trailer holds 29. This might fill it. Um, this very well might fill it, so. I think we're just gonna haul to the elevator. I can't figure out how to get the bins to work and then get in here, so. I think the farm I'm at isn't really, like a farm you like live at, but 
Everybody seems to go to the far north farm, and I'm here like just down the road from the shop. That's got to be like full. If it's not, I'm I'm taking it. I'm still going to take her to town. Don't know why I just did that, but. Oh, you showed up real quick. Shoot, slid past it. Uh, I didn't get stopped in time. I had that car behind me. I was just casually driving through the dealership. That'll work. I'm going right down here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can get out. Yep. I ain't gonna make squat off of this, but it'll be more than nothing. Help cover seed costs or something. Sixteen, sixteen hundred bucks. That's better than nothing. Plus, I don't think I have a loan. I might. Don't quote me on that. I, I might have a loan. Ah, no, I don't. Hee <laughs> hee. Good. So this is all going into our pockets. I actually might even sell the one planner. My, mm, I got a 12 row. I might go, drop down to the 6 row. I don't know why this camera's finicky at times. Like, I'm down to 27 frames. 
hours in dealership. Oh, my big course play. I never thought of that. We'll hop over here. Yeah, it almost has to be course play. Holy crap, bud. You're almost done. Oh, good. Oh, that helped the frames get that off there. Yeah, this is our corn planter. Thinking about getting rid of it and buying the one Artie Allen did. Uh, buying this little guy here. A little six row. Nice little planter. And we'll do that for corn and beans for wheat. What am I even using for wheat? Where's my drill at? I think I got the Great Plains. Yeah, there's a great plain straw right there. And don't mind the that stuff needs put away. This is corn this year. I had a lot of corn out this year actually. I had so it was This is corn. This was corn and this was corn. And this is corn. This is beans. And that was beans. So this is just a tiny little field. So it really don't matter. But that's pretty good size. And that's pretty good size. And that's that's pretty good size bean field. I mean. So. Wish I could find a header cart. That these things didn't fall through. That'd be so nice. And I got my little tiny sprayer over here. It's a little Russian sprayer or whatever, but I like it. It looks like an old, like, like I've seen one like that before around my, my area. I got a little homemade sprayer or something. Pulled her with this old 4020. Yes, I got corn on the ground. But, put this away, then we'll get back to shelling corn. Oh, this is probably one of my favorite tractors other than the 4630. No, I'm not going to work around with this. I mean, I probably could, but... Nope. That's invisible.
No, oh, combine's good on fuel. I have no clue how long I've been recording, to be honest. Probably be a long video and probably take forever to upload, so... Who knows? I'd like to... I had an idea for a series where I start out my old equipment, like a John Deere B and the old 3600 Combine and stuff like that, or 34... I don't know, 3300, I think it was. Yeah, 33, 44, and 66, and then 77, 20, 88, 20, yeah. Just shell the send off. That's another question. What do you guys call it? Put it in comments. Shell, or like combine, or harvest. In my area, which is north central Ohio, most, we say shell. A lot of people say shell corn, um, cut beans, cut wheat. My friend, his, they say combine, like combine beans or like combining beans. We've always just said shell and cut. So let me know what you guys call it down in the comments. Let's see how all you guys call it, I guess. Sweet. Tractor is done. Chiseling. Heck, he's done. I don't have to... Until this field, at least. You don't have to do any field work until this field. Oh, I just get to cut shell corn. Guess I could set the 46 up to spray. Not the 46, the 4440 to spray the wheat. I'll probably put um, herbicide down in the f spring after the wheat has re started regrowing. As sure as my FPS was still on. Yeah, I think this is the front of the field over here. I don't want to go the front. I'm going to swing right around and come back down and then shell back and forth. Actually, I don't even need to shell that end off. I won't I might have to actually ah, missed a stalk tire got it it's fine now our grand cart drivers well, that's what the grand cart drivers for but we're not rich enough to have a grand cart so we don't run one just me just me in the semi. I mean, it ain't a bad thing. It's a pretty way. I mean, it's a good way to go. Now, in the future, yeah, I'll get a green cart. Probably get me a small one. I think Devo released one. Old 
to Demco or Umberfirth, one of the two. I think it's Umberfirth. Oh, like 600 bushel cart or something. Oh shoot, what did I do? Oh, that's what that does. I hadn't used that button in a long time. Totally forgot about that button. This should really help my mail to turn around. If you think about the all the stuff you do in farm sim, it seems like it takes forever. But in theory, like, yes, yeah, the shelling corner of the six row header, it's going to take a while. But it's going to take a while in real life. I mean, I understand why most people run two and three combines because they don't want to sit there for hours like it would in real life with one combine and do it. And <laughs> squad or whoever. But... When you want to play realistically, one combine ain't that bad. I hardly ever run a couple combines when I'm, now if I'm just kind of screwing around and I am have like one shelling corn, one cutting wheat or whatever, and it's not, it's like on just a regular save game, not seasons. Yeah, I'll run two and three combines, but not in the same field or anything like that. Or I don't run. The biggest header I've ran is a 16, and that was on the 716C. I ran on Good Hope on the Kloss Lexion. That's a realistic size header, too. So that's not cheating. I'm not using a 30 row corn header, 70 foot header, which is actually almost realistic, to be honest. Cause I got a 60 foot Midwest header. Midwest has a 60 footer, which is crazy to think about, but if you get into Australia and stuff, it's needed. <laughs> Thousand acre fields, or paddocks as they say. Corn heads getting dirty. I'd rather be shelling it the opposite way so I'm turning down to go, but because when you shell this way, you gotta like swing out because it's cutting down, like it's going at an angle that way. Which, I mean, it's not going to last that long. I think it runs the whole field, but it's not as sharp as, like, right now.
Why do you do 80% not 3 quarters? I don't understand that. It's, it's a quarter, half, and 3 quarters. And then, you know, you're full when you got corn running off the side of the combine. If I could count right and farm some is accurate, I just cut a land out. I'd start making lands and shelling. So it's easier, so I don't have to make such tight turns like I do when I chisel. Which I do in real life also. Uh, when I chisel plow, I cut strike out lands. About two and a quarter combine loads fills this. Okay, I'm gonna do something kind of smart here. For once, pull the truck out in the field. After I'm done dumping, I'm going to go move that um, tractor up to the farm. I thought I made a bigger dent in the field than that. So I, when I did, I came down here. I'm debating on whether I have to open this end up or not. Probably not, because I'll be shelling back and forth this way. Which I need to get some lime tossed on this in the spring before the beans, which in theory should be the other way around. Put it on after beans, but I need some lime on it. Whoa. What is that? The elf. Oh, I know what that is. That's this guy right here. I forgot. It's for pellets.
This tractor also needs to be washed. The old Air National Turbo. Yeah, I missed some when I was chiseling this field. It's fine. Actually, I'm going to get to 4440 in the sprayer. Head on down to the wheat. See what I got in the sprayer. Should be fertilizer, I think. Might not be. Go toss some fertilizer down. 20, I'm going to toss some fertilizer down on the wheat. Or get a course play doing that. I got herbicide. Yeah, I guess I'd take a shot. I think I got weeds out in it, actually. Well, not really. I mean, all I gotta do is I'll back up and unload it. Cause, or you could unload the sprayers. Hmm. Yeah, cause where I could. Where'd he go? That's that's for the fuel. Yeah, that's for the fuel. I don't need any fuel in this tractor. Um, why did I think I could unload the sprayer? Do I have anything in that? I think I got fertilizer in this tank. Huh. 
actually. I think I'm gonna end the video here because I think I'm pretty much bored enough. Bored you guys enough. So, I will talk. Not talk. I'll see you guys in the next video because I'm kind of going crazy. <laughs> um, so, next video, probably. Hopefully, I'll have some headway on this field. And, or maybe be done with it. I don't know. We'll just maybe chisel this or something. I don't know. So, till next time, guys. Keep on farming.